Hi, this is Lee, and I'm going to give you a little tour of the horse trailer that I turned into a chicken coop. Um, this 1978 Hart two-horse trailer with a dressing room in the front uh, used to be in pretty bad shape, but um, I found it for a real steal on Craigslist, uh, considering that it was in such bad shape, and was able to buy it. It had a whole bunch of things that I really liked, um, not the least of which was all the compartments and separate areas. Um, first, I'm going to show you the dressing room area, um, which I have turned into a uh, chick brooder area. This is my little grow-out pen with a whole bunch of my babies in there. It's a rounded front here in the trailer. I still have a hallway that I can use. Um, I'm going to be cleaning up all these cords and everything, but we do have them so that no connections are touching the ground. The heater uh, is only on, on the coldest nights, and it sits on a rock um, to help prevent fire issues. Um, of course, uh, we have to be very cautious with that. Uh, in the front, right now, is a mess because I've got my fermented feed. This is the baby feed. Down here is the big bird feed. Um, sorry, I know I'm making you dizzy with all this moving. Uh, but I've got just a whole bunch of stuff up here, but uh, we are probably going to be changing this into a baby bird brooder. brooder. We're going to be building right on top of this grow out pen and making another brooder here. We've got plenty of head space as well as a vent up there. Um, let me move along so as not to bore you. Um, this next space is one of the hay windows uh, and here we have, um, th this used to be the place where you could put hay in for the horses and they would, they would eat it um, here as they were standing back here. We've got it cordoned off. This is a special area. Uh, and in this case, this is a broody silky. She's sitting on five Swedish flower hen eggs. Um, and since she's black and broody, we call her Darth Bader. Um, as an incubator. <laughs> anyway, I know, lame jokes, enough of that. I've got enough, another, um, this is a vent up on the ceiling, and that is left open year-round to make sure that we get plenty of ventilation and airflow. Uh, <clears throat> moving on to the next area. This is just another ventilation area in the side of the trailer. Coming around the back, this is one of the trailers that had fully enclosed uh, their, their top doors and bottom doors. Many trailers come just with the bottom doors. I liked this one because it has the option of closing the top doors also. Um, it's a little messy because I don't have birds moved in back here just yet. Um, we've got stuff left over from our build. Um, but as you can see, uh, you can see the two separation areas. Um, the one we just looked at and the other one with a white silky and her brood of three Swedish flower hen chicks. Um, in this main area, you can see that there's a good amount of square footage here. Um, I, my neighbors were throwing away this lovely bookshelf, um, and it... It obviously just makes the perfect nesting box. I will be filling it with hay, and I've got uh, I've got the bottom and the middle section so that birds can land on here. Unfortunately, this is all form board, so it doesn't hold any um, nails in it very well. Stepping up in here, <clears throat> I'm gonna duck under the first of the perches. You can see we've put in plenty of ventilation. Both of these doors open, um, one on each side. We get a cross breeze, as well as the windows that came on the trailer, which we have covered with hardware cloth, <clears throat> both sides. Over here, they slide back and forth. Um, as we said before, these are the two separation areas. 
Here's the Silky and her babies making a mess. Um, but they have a window where they can actually see out. They can get sunlight. I have to be careful that they don't get too much direct sunlight because of the heat. Okay, coming around the other side. That is where a tree fell on the old coop. <laughs> it's now just rubble. <clears throat> All right, you can see from this side. Um, and what has worked out beautifully here is this particular door for this uh, ventilation area also creates shade uh, for this window so that during different times of the day I can close it or open it to allow the sun to come in or to prevent the sun from coming in. Today is very cool um, so I'm not as worried about the sun coming in. Um, if it gets to be a problem in the summer, I may do some sort of little uh, shade or awning on the outside of that window to prevent excess sun from coming in. Anyway, uh, that is about it for this coop. Um, it has worked out beautifully so far. I'm trying to avoid getting our very ugly hoop coop. Uh, you don't want to see that. <laughs> and there you have it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the tour. And have a great day.